It is Askeladd versus Thorkel. Well, their groups at least, although Thorkel isn't really behind his men. He's more of a one-man army himself. But regardless, I'm, I'm terrified for the world at stake because I feel like when these two sides collide, it's going to be cataclysmic. I mean, they called it Ragnarok. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus, and we have a gamble today from Vinland Saga. Super excited to get into it. Last one was a very big building episode with Canute being sort of kidnapped by Thorkel knowing that in doing so, he's attracting tons of people towards him to just fight. He's, he's a maniac. And Askeladd taking it upon himself to be like, yep, let's let's go after him because that that bounty for rescuing Canute is going to be fat. If you do the channel, make sure you drop a sub and let's get started. And there he is. The calm before the storm. Winter's coming. I figure winter would be like Thorkel's least favorite time. Things get all quiet. Bro's just looking forward to the food. Oh my! They've cut modesty. You must not commit adultery. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny seeing like these early like views on stuff religions or uh reditions of religions and them talking about it. like now they're like so established and whatnot and their perspective on christianity <laughs> oh canute is a christian oh yeah that makes sense no we saw him praying <laughs> he's prisoner that's how he gets king swain's attention and obviously it has from the guy that Askeladd killed there's a lot of people going after Thorkel. Oh, he's confident fought and earned on the battlefield i know about valhalla solely because of god of war <laughs> should i know who the other guy is with canute and uh, ragnar oh yeah that guy who is that oh it's the priest oh damn something strong he needed alcohol and he's broken <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna make him laugh. Oh, what happened? No way it's them. No way already. God, oh, he's built! A spear? No. Dog! Oh my god! Brother! No, that's not Asquad's men. I'm guessing it's just some of Swain's men. 2000 versus what? 400? 500? That's true, actually, yeah. They're sending out Canute? A little dolphin on his helmet? Oh, no, it's all a trick. Oh, now that he wants to fight. He's like, okay, I gave you Canute, now let's go! Oh, he's playing on their need to be warriors on the back. Oh, wow. <laughs> Surely there's 2,000 of you. <laughs> it's too easy, isn't it, Thorkel? It's two axes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a bloodbath. <gasps> Askeladd's gonna third party, bro. They're gonna run into the final hour. Why do they have so many barrels? What are those? Do they like explosives? Bro, look how he towers over them. They'll stand a damn chance. It's like LeBron and like kindergartners, man. <laughs> yeah, actually. 400 max. How many does Askeladd have total? Some smell something. Is it what's in the barrels? Oh. I just started fire. Oh, like a forest fire. Oh, like maybe trap them? No way. No way. Is it like a ring of fire? Escalade is insane if that is the plan. Oh my gosh. Look how long his axe is. It doesn't even make sense. He knows. I mean, it would be like very coincidental timing. 
It's almost like, yeah, he knows I it's Askeladd too. I said third party. I meant more like third party, like you go in whatever they're weak. It's all dry. He knows that the Orkel wouldn't die. Like oh my. Dude, he's so smart, man. For some water on him? Wait, what? Is he running in? What about the horse? They're just gonna yoink Canute? I guess Asquad's smart. Like, confuse Thorkel, yoink Canute, and get the hell out of there. No, I'm not for real. He knows he'll fight Thorkel if worse comes to worse, but... It is 400. Okay, so they're only 100. No, that makes sense. Yeah, I feel like that'd be the most difficult part of the plan. I mean, I don't think he's an idiot, but he's not afraid of anything. That's true. So is, is Asquad planning on Ragnar dying so he can't tell anybody what happened? Yep, he knows. Oh, I thought that was Thorfinn for a second. He was attacking him? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, was this like a bait? No, this is a bait. Yeah, dude. Oh my gosh, guys. All right, Ragnar, you better be a damn good fighter, man. No! Thorfinn! The horse! Oh, it was a distraction. Wait, how is he supposed to get Canute out of there now? Oh, shoot. Is he gonna take all of them on? Guy looks badass. Come to save you. But Ragnar is not gonna let Thorfinn take Canute. So he has to kill like everybody, no? <laughs> I guess he has no choice. They're so outmatched. Thorfinn and Askeladd's men would be the heroes either way. Thorkel. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. He sounded like excited. Oh, no. Dude, Thorfinn is so boned, man. <laughs> He's like proud of him. It's so funny. Oh, he wants to have a conversation. Oh. <laughs> um, he's not gonna say a word. I, okay, yeah, Helga. I can't believe I forgot. <laughs> Dang! Jiga Chad. Does he even know that Thor's is dead? Yeah, I keep. I'm under the impression that everybody has the same knowledge that I do, but I have to remember. Oh, shoot! Dang, giving him the prince! Headed for the same place, anyways. Dang, bro. <laughs> He's still going. I love Thorkel so much, man. What? Oh my gosh, dude. These freaking goobers, man. Oh, well, they're both dead anyways. So is that it? Thorfinn's just gonna come back with Prince Canute? Oh my gosh. What about Ragnar? He knows what happened. Well, I guess he doesn't know for sure that it was Thorkel. Ragnar had no choice. He had to go with them. This is his only line of escape with the prince. That was so much easier. Oh, he knows he was the fire. Oh. However. Wow. So he's banking on being rewarded in the future? Look upon his highness's face. Yeah, they've been kind of um particular about that the entire time. Oh, wow. He just doesn't give a damn. Is it a girl? Yeah, I was going to say. Princess. Are you sure? Like Ragnar wouldn't know. Wait. Does Ragnar know? What kind of cliffhanger is that? We don't even get Ragnar's like reaction? Has it been like a, a bait and switch this whole time? Like the princess has been here in place of Canute? Oh, no way, man. No way you in like that. Oh my gosh. What an episode though, dude. I love this, this storyline they're setting up with Thorkel and Thorfinn. I'm so glad there wasn't some like battle this episode where one of them perished because I feel like there's so much more they can do with Thorkel as a character of course it's more likely for thorkel to die because thorfinn's more of the main character of this this 
driving story, but it wouldn't really make sense for Thorfinn to beat Thorkel in a 1v1 from what we've seen. Like, yeah, he got two fingers off of him in that one fight, but regardless, he's stupidly outmatched still. But yeah, I love that we're sticking with that. And now we have a very large overarching narrative, which is protect Prince or now, I guess, maybe Princess Canute. And Askeladd has an actual responsibility where people are going to come after him. With a very high risk comes a very high reward. It's all political. I have to think about like perspective and everything. Like, yes, Ragnar did know that a lot of that was Askeladd and the reason he lost his men was Askeladd, but he has no choice but to entrust Canute with Askeladd and to follow whatever plan he has along the way. My only questioning is, is Ragnar just going to tell King Swain like, hey, I had to trust Askeladd with uh, Prince Canute, but he's kind of the reason we're in a big pickle right now to begin with. But I guess not at the same time, because like he even said like Thorkel's men would have destroyed them anyways. It's so, like he's inherently lucky that Askeladd was there. I don't know. It, it, like I said, it's a lot of like uh, relationships and, and po politics, like I said. But dude, th this show just moves so quickly. I, I, I thought the entire like not battle with Thorkel, because they didn't really even battle, but confrontation would have lasted at least two or three episodes. But we just keep trekking along like this show makes so much progress. We've been through so much in just 11 episodes. It's just mind boggling. But guys, that's been it for my reaction today. I hope you did enjoy. Drop a like on this one. It does help me out quite a bit. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, peace.